Hi, hey, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly, and today it's another project audiobook. So, this has been a little, I guess, series of mine, um, or challenge, I'm not sure what to call it. Series, a uh, challenge of series, series of challenges. That doesn't make any sense. This year, I've like challenged myself to listen to some audiobooks um, and I've chosen to listen to audiobooks of books I've read physically previously um, just because I have this feeling and I have tried it as well that uh, if I haven't read it previously I stop paying attention to it so it yeah it doesn't really work for me not the way it's supposed to anyway uh, but uh, I ha I took a bit of a break, I guess, and uh, now I'm back. Uh, I'm back with eight, <laughs> eight new books in a series um, that I listened to. And I, I read these books, I want to say last year, and I, re I really enjoyed them. So it's kind of why I listen to them now, I guess. Uh, so this series, the I Heart series, I'm, I'm not sure it has it. Does it have its? Uh, does it have like an official title, or we're just going with I Heart? Let's just go with I Heart because all the books are called I Heart something. So we have. Let's see if I can actually say them off like the top of my head. So we have I Heart New York, I Heart Hollywood, I Heart Paris. I Heart Vegas, I Heart London, I Heart Christmas, I Heart Forever, and I Heart Hawaii. I'm pretty sure that's actually the correct order order of them as well. So <laughs> claps for me. Uh, <laughs> so this whole series is basically shopaholic by sophie kinsella however uh it's without the anxiety it's without the over shopping and having the banks uh calling you because you're way overdraft um it's it has the same kind of vibes but it's more of a we're following along a journey through this character's life um it's one of those which I felt, especially listening to it now as well, it was like going going and visiting a friend that you haven't seen in a while, but you still had like, it felt like you just saw each other yesterday or talked to each other yesterday. It has that kind of a cozy feel. So we follow Angela and we start off in the first book where she's at her friend's wedding uh, with her fiancé and then she kind of comes across her fiancé bonking another girl in their car lovely uh apparently her best friend kind of knew about this as well and yeah events lead to funny stuff and also angela the main character uh going off to new york they start off in london by the way so yeah it's it's one of those she literally has nothing on her but the clothes on her back and she just picks up and goes to New York with nowhere to go. Um, it's a bit of a drastic move, but also it kicks off a fun adventure. Now, as far as the audiobooks, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had like different narrators for each of the books, but some of them were the same. Um, but they, they kind of all sounded the same, so it kind of worked in a way. Um, the only thing <laughs> that I would actually complain about was that um, they were very good at uh, doing the different accents of the different kinds of characters because you have British, you have American, you have French <laughs> and they were good at that however at some places it goes a bit too fast and some of the characters 
changed accents along the way. It wasn't too noticeable, but it just made me go like, hang on, wait a minute. This is not the right character. It's not a end or be all kind of a deal, but uh, and, and it also kind of made me laugh a bit. Um, I would actually recommend reading them physically rather than listening to the audiobooks, because um, reading them physically had me cackling a lot more than listening to it uh, did. So, not terrible, but... I prefer the physical version. <laughs> so yeah, a, a very short sweet a video. I hope it was sweet anyway. It was very short at least so you don't have to watch me go on too much about absolutely nothing like I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, currently I don't know which other like books or series I want to listen to. So if you have suggestions, pop them down below. Give me some, uh, give me some motivation to figure out what I want to listen to. Or you know, if you just know of good audiobooks, and I probably won't listen to them unless I've actually read them before. Not that you have to go do that research, but if you know of good good audiobooks. Pop them down below. I will keep in mind for future with if and when I read the physical books or if I already have this is starting to make no much no sense whatsoever. So let's let's finish off this video. Um, thank you so much for watching, including all my ramblings. And uh, yeah, go pick up the I Heart series by Lindsay Kelk, but read them physically because much better, much better. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.